Well, good morning. I am up on the tower and uh, I still had some of the lovely frying pan tower signature blend coffee hand available on fptower.org. <laughs> I had some of that from yesterday, so I just heated it up and put it back in the pot. And since it's just me here <clears throat> with a little froggy throat, I think it'll be enough for all day. The winds have kicked up a little bit. Um, temperatures are still fantastic. You know, it's very strange. You would think, all right, it's gonna be really cold. It's the middle of winter. Well, it might be March, but it feels pretty good. Let's go ahead and see what the temperature is and check the batteries. Oh, we can also take a look in the uh, generator room. You can see what we're doing in there. Ah, beautiful day, let's see. Computer, turn on the wall. Oh, isn't that special? Computer, turn on the rec room lights. Let's see if it'll do that. Okay. Oh, it worked. <laughs> you never know. So, um, got these unpacked. These are the, uh, the lovely big old batteries. I guess you could read it better like that. I think you'd call these lithium iron phosphite, phosphate. I don't remember my chemistry on that. But these 12 batteries, they look so innocent and simple. <laughs> Those are 100 pounders and they have so much storage capacity that you can literally grab a week worth of sunlight through the solar panels I'm gonna show you in here. I know I should turn off that light, but it makes it a little easier for me not to stumble on things. Go. let's get the door open I did run the generator last night because we used a bunch of juice let's see how these old batteries are doing these are lead acid 6 volts 12 volt ones donated and well let's just be simple what do we got 50.4 volts it's actually not bad on a uh, 48 volt system I'm a little stiff, a little sore because of <laughs> moving a little bit of steel around and uh, getting one of our jet skis down to go back to land. Today I have to take and clean the rust off of all of this angle iron. I don't know how much those weigh. It's got some pretty good pullback, I guess, gravity. Let's see about how much it is. Just a quick one-handed glance here. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's about 20 pounds each. And there should be, I don't know, 40 or 50 of those. We refilled uh, the fuel, which is our operational for the gasoline and the diesel. To run the big generator there or as you can hear the small one computer turn on the workshop hopefully that light will work thank you so this is half of the solar panels these big old beasts there you go they're about 50 pounds each I have to figure out how to weld tabs on the top edge on the perimeter of the tower and mount on here <laughs> supports that are not just going to get torn loose. I have to do it so it can be held rigidly so it doesn't flex. It's good when we flex. It's not good when those flex. If those flex, that's tempered glass. That's just, I think that's just beautiful. Wow. Anyway, you don't want to flex that. It will shatter. And we need all the energy. 400 watts each. We have this bank of 26, another bank of 26. We still have yet to carry out. Altogether, that will be just over 20,000 watts of possible capture of sunlight. Oh, yeah, and I still got more steel here. <laughs> it's noisy to walk around on this floor. But... Uh, 
the tools that we need to actually accomplish this mission is m maybe not what you actually think. Yeah, we've got some you know, lays and plasma torches, but the tools that we really need to get this done, it's you guys. Yeah, I love doing it, but don't get me wrong. It's gonna take a lot more than me. It's gonna take all you guys that wanna help jumping on a boat with us and coming out. I know, maybe you can't do that. Maybe you can tell somebody. Hey, this guy is doing this crazy stuff. He needs our help. He's trying to put some moorings out there so the boats can tie up so you he can help. He's throwing safety buoys out there to try and rescue people. He's trying to use the radio to communicate with the Coast Guard and make it automated so, you know, people can be saved if they have boat issues. They're all trying to get some new cameras down underneath the water. You get the idea. On occasion, we play pool on the original Brunswick pool table. Anyway, today's going to be an interesting day. I will not be talking to myself. I'll try and talk to the camera and tell you guys what we're doing and what's yet to be done. I think it's Saturday. You kind of lose track of what day of the week it is. Uh, because honestly, the only thing really governing your days, your weeks, is as we spin around. Oh, there's the sun. Oh, there's the moon. And we do it again. You know, you work longer and harder than you would if you were doing it just for yourself because you come out here and you're doing it for the benefit of all these kids in school that sure they've seen pictures of sharks and they've seen whales and they've seen dolphins and sea turtles but they've not seen them like right up front so if I can get the cameras back in place down below with the help of people like explore.org they have cameras all over the world great great effort there they're a non-profit and I I think they're awesome people and with the help of people that in the East Coast area well shoot we get people from all around the world to come out here a young lady from England came about a year and a half ago she did a lot of work out here just wanted to come out and experience it and by the time she left she had the welding gear on and she welded better than I did because her hands are more steady and just, uh, it was great. I know she enjoyed it. And it was fun seeing someone else's eyes light up with learning something new. And I think as humans, we, we always desire what's new, what's exciting. And sometimes it's really about what are we doing for others to make their life better. If you want to be happy, give yourself away. Make someone's life meaningful make it a little better it's not that hard you get a little extra food invite someone over for dinner well, I'm going to get on with my day hmm. finish my coffee before it gets too lukewarm and uh, probably be working in the shop I'd like to get some of the cameras up and at least functional in the shop so I can live stream it and you guys can see what's going on. Uh, it's also quite interesting to just the viewpoint in there. Seeing out on the ocean or down through the grating of the waves. Yeah. It'll be a busy few days. And I'm not quite sure when I'm going to get back to land to see my sweetie Nancy. But, uh, I'm very blessed to have a good lady like that. now I'm just talking and drinking coffee. Let's sit around and drink coffee and talk today. Hmm. If you get a chance, um, I guess they just tell someone about us. And they're going to like, why are you fixing that old oil rig? <laughs> it's not an oil rig. It's designed like them because they were super strong. This one's super strong. And, uh, 
It was just to be a lighthouse, keep people off the shallow water, which is 30 miles out here. And uh, now since we have GPS, we don't need it per se, but we have a lot of boaters come out past this area. We always have planes flying overhead and uh, <clears throat> it's still needed. It's needed to help guys in boats, mariners, guys and gals that come out in their boats if they have an engine problem. Uh, well, we're a little beacon out here that we can hear them on the radio and we can make sure that the Coast Guard's able to come assist, or we will, like the rescue device, uh, scuba divers, free divers. It's about 50 foot of water here and uh, we can help them. We've had a chance to do that once or twice. Uh, educating people, showing, you know, I didn't know what it looked like under the ocean. It just looks like ocean. What you don't know is in some areas, it's like a desert with very few fish. And there's areas around structure, our legs down here and the pipes and everything, where there's tens of thousands of fish from all sizes, from little bitty guys to nine foot sand tigers just hanging out down there, kind of riding around, cruising around. It is incredibly powerful with strong, strong waves and current. So much so that you can't swim fast enough to stay in place. With such power, a block of water, three feet by three feet by three feet, well over a thousand pounds. And when the wave goes rolling by, that's <laughs> 80 of them all hitting the tower at one time. It's a lot of impact. Well, the sunlight will help power us. I won't need the generator once I get the new batteries hooked up and the new panels. And the wave action and the wind out there, yeah, we, big wave, big wave just hit. But there's a lot of energy in this world. And yeah, we still use a little bit of fossil fuels. You saw the big tanks of it, because I'm gonna be running a generator and it takes a lot of energy uh, to do the welding, do a plasma torch, which is literally a little, a little miniature lightsaber. Yeah, it takes a lot of energy. But there's a compromise and utilizing sunlight where you can and wind where you can. I think the days are quickly going away when we just turn on the light switch in our home and ignore it. We need to think about how we use our energy, whether or not we leave the lights on or not. I actually left them on. You saw that, that's, a, that's hard for me to do now. And what did mama say when I was a little boy? You leave the room, you turn off the lights. We can all do a little bit that way to help. Man, it lowers our energy bills. So, I will get on with my day. It is, oh, look at that, 5.40 a.m. I'm already late to get going. <laughs> so remember, be nice to somebody you do not like today. It messes with their head and lets them know that somebody actually cares. Tell those that you do care about how much you care about them. Reach out to them. It could be simple. If you're young, toss them a text or a Snapchat thingy, WhatsApp. You know what I mean. If you're a bit older, we have these amazing things called pens. And they still have this flat stuff called paper. You write them a letter and stick it in this service called the U.S. Mail. And it is a special joy to get a handwritten letter just tell them what's going on with yourself. Tell them what they mean to you. And if there's something where you're mad at them or they're mad at you, what are you waiting for? You can't really tell them very well at their funeral or yours. Reach out. Heal those bonds. And... Hmm. Yeah. Drink some good coffee. If you buy the Praying Pan Tower Signature Blend from Black Powder, a little North Carolina coffee company that imports some really good beans from places where they don't exploit people. Well, anyway, those dollars that you pay them for that coffee, they get you the coffee. Whether or not that's bean 
ground. They still do K-cups, but again, those aren't quite as eco-friendly. So now we get these little reusable things. We pour the coffee in, snap it shut, and run it in your little Keurig machine. But uh, they also give us a dollar or so. You know, it's not a lot of dollars, but that's not what it needs to do. It's that little bit from a lot of people that add up to really making a difference for us to buy that steel. It's the company, Queensboro Steel, right there in the Wilmington area. They gave us a discount. I think they pretty much gave it to us at cost. That makes a difference. It's you telling somebody, hey, there's this crazy old place out in the ocean where we fly American flags. Don't have to. Proud to. You know, our country's in a tough spot. It seems like there's either a light switch on the wall for politicians now, but there's not. We're just people. We all make mistakes. Work together as much as you can. When you can't, well, like my sweetie does. <laughs> she gets mad at me. She just steps in the other room for a little bit and we calm down. It's uh, easy to get mad. It's also easy to forgive. All right. Get on with it. Right? Hmm. No excuses, Richard. Get your butt in gear. You got stuff to do. And drink some coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee.